Well, folks, it's no secret that Nintendo has a big Zelda game coming later this year. It's one of the most anticipated games in Echoes of Wisdom. And you guys know Zelda is my favorite franchise, or if you didn't know, you do now. So when it comes to covering Zelda games, I want to get dive into every tiny little morsel. Like, is there a new two-second clip that appeared in a commercial out in Japan? Oh, you know we're all over it. A brand new screenshot, a new angle on something we've already seen but maybe shows new details. Heck, a new piece of music floating out there, an official website update. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's a, something new, if it shows us or gives us anything new, I want to make a video on it. And some of you guys get annoyed at times. How do you get a 10, 15, 20 minute video out of a three second clip? Oh, because I'm a Zelda fan. And if you don't know anything about the serious, the hardcore Zelda fans, at least on the internet, we like to overanalyze and overhype everything because we just love this franchise so damn much. So that's what we're doing today, except Here's the thing, what we found out today is a brand new, previously unknown thing about Echoes of Wisdom that fundamentally changes a lot about what this game is. And I think many of you will actually be excited about this. And this is a fact. This is a piece of information, a really big one that came out in an official capacity, but kind of feels like a leak a little bit because I'm not sure this is how Nintendo planned for this information to get out there. That being said, if you guys are enjoying this video, I'd appreciate if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers this year. Kind of a tough goal, but I think, you know, we can, that there's an outside chance anyways that we pull it off. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, because what are we talking about? What if I were to tell you that this game starring Zelda that kicks off with Link falling through, you know, the, 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 the miasma, the, 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 well, you know, the purple stuff. What if I were to tell you that that's not the end of Link's story? What if I were to tell you, you don't just play a Zelda using your rod and, you know, summoning beds to help you out. No, 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 no. You get to play as Link himself for parts of this game. That's right, folks. It looks like Echoes of Wisdom is that dual character game that we have speculated on possibly coming into existence a long time ago. What are we talking about? Well, let's look at the ESRB rating here for Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Again, this was published about 10 hours ago, at least at the time of recording. It says, hey, this is an adventure game in which players assume the role of Zelda as she attempts to dispel rifts throughout Hyrule and Rescue Link. From a three-quarter overhead perspective, players explore various environments while fighting stylized enemies, as an example, humans, creatures, etc. As Link, players use a sword and arrows to defeat enemies. Zelda can use a magic wand to summon creatures. Example, wind-up knights, pig soldiers, slime. For battle, some enemies can be defeated by being set on fire. Other creatures dissolve into mist when defeated. Battle sequences are somewhat frenetic, with several enemies attacking and fighting at once. Now, the game is officially rated E10+. And it's kind of interesting. I saw someone be like, oh, it's rated E10+. What happened to the T rating? Well, there's actually only one Zelda game ever that's had a T rating, and that was Twilight Princess. And it wasn't because Twilight Princess did anything crazy other Zelda games didn't do. It's just because the visuals were teetering a bit more to the realistic side, making the enemies seem a bit scarier, which, ergo, gives you that teen rating. I mean, look, you could get drunk in some Zelda games. That Lon Lon Milk and everything. But, heck, there's a literal bar in Breath of the Wild. However, uh, they don't care about that. They care about how realistic the violence feels. And again, Twilight Princess just felt a little bit too realistic. Got that T rating. Now, when we're looking at what it revealed there, it revealed that we play as Link. Now, look, if we want to go on the overhype side of this, it would be that, hey, maybe half this game, you play as Zelda and you save Link and you think everything's done, but plot twist, now you gotta play as Link and maybe you go save Zelda, or maybe Link and Zelda team up and you could switch between the two characters and they follow each other on screen and you get to manage multiple characters like certain action RPGs. I don't know. 
obviously that is the most hype situation where we get to play as both, use different abilities, and have a hell of a good time. That is actually possible. Takes me back to my days of Secret of Mana. Actually, I know there's a lot of action RPGs and stuff like that where you get to control multiple characters. So it's not a new concept to gaming, but it would be new for Zelda. Uh, the closest we got to something like that would be Hyrule Warriors or Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And those games, you can bounce between different characters. Uh, but we haven't really been able to do that in an official Zelda game. Now, you could argue, we're not so fast, Nate. Yes, we have. Have you played Four Swords? Four Swords Adventures or Triforce Heroes? Well, sure, but like technically those are all like the same characters. This is one where we're actually different characters. It's Link and Zelda. So anyways, you kind of get my drift. We haven't really had a gameplay style akin to that in the past. Now, what's going to happen? Well, we don't know because it's also possible that they're only bringing this up because if you remember the beginning of the trailer where Link comes out and he's fighting Ganondorf, yeah, that does look like a cutscene, right? But what if things leading up to that point are not a cutscene? So what if the very beginning of the game is kind of Tears of the Kingdom style? You're controlling Link, you're at the end of an adventure and you're traveling through that dungeon and maybe you could even do an entire dungeon as Link. And then you get to the final boss, that cutscene happens, and now you're, you're Zelda, and that was it. That's as much as you get to play as Link. That is obviously a possibility where they just give us a small little sampling of traditional Zelda gameplay uh, with Link. It, it, again, that could be possible. Remember, it does say Link uses a sword and arrows, and that's all we saw him using the trailer. We didn't see any other weapons at play. You know, Link usually collects items and has a big arsenal. It seems like Zelda's that with the echoes so link isn't that uh but who knows we obviously have no idea how any of this works we do know though the esrb reveals again i will read this to you as it says as link players use a sword and arrows to defeat enemies so again as link the players use meaning we are controlling him so that's all we get out of this factually right now is that we are controlling him now you might go well why didn't nintendo just tell us this when echoes of wisdom got announced well i can tell you why because they wanted to emphasize what is so new about this game and what is so new is the echo ability and what zelda is doing again link is going to be a playable part of the game whether it's just the beginning or whether there's entire sections or dungeons or if you get to go back and forth Remember, this world of the rifts where Link falls through, what if you get to play as him in that world? That is a distinct possibility. And again, we've been able to control all the characters in the past, Andrew and Kathy side quest anyone in Majora's Mask, but just not to this degree that we think this game might be. So I also think that this helps uh, make people feel even stronger about this game. I know some people were worried that, you know, they didn't really like that echo thing and you could cheese the puzzles and... I don't know if I really like this. I'm going to miss traditional Link. Well, guess what? Traditional Link is there. You'll get to play as him for portions of the game. I think this is actually going to make people get more excited and even more accepting of some of the strange, new, weird things Nintendo's doing with Zelda because Zelda shouldn't have the same abilities as Link, especially when you can play as Link. So if you can play as Link and use the sword and bow, then Zelda should be a completely different play style. So I actually think this is awesome and could set up a new series of games where you play as Link and Zelda moving forward. I think that would be really, really cool. I hope that is the direction they decide to explore. Again, this might just be a small portion at the very beginning of the game, and I'm doing this thing where I'm getting too excited over something that isn't really that big of a deal, but it also could be so much more. And that's the exciting part is it could be. And you know what? We don't even have to wait that long. The game comes out in September, right? Chances are by the end of August, if not then the very beginning of September, they will begin the marketing campaign for it. We'll get all our commercials and our new trailers and our launch trailers and interviews and all that stuff. So we're not going to have to wait too much longer to figure out how big this role is and how this all works. But I just know I am excited now, you might go, well, Nate, well, I'm talking about this, you know, that's kind of a spoiler that you can play as Link. Hey, look, if it's in the ESRB rating at this point, I don't consider that to be a spoiler. That's official information Nintendo knew would be published. So take that for what you will. Uh, would have been cool if Nintendo would have dropped a screenshot the day before and just said, hey, did you know that you can also play as Link for part of your adventure? Be like, whoa, what are you talking about? So I hope all of you are really excited about it as well. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from 
Nintendo Prime. Are you excited for Echoes of Wisdom? And hey, if you haven't checked it out yet, we did a video not too long ago, a handful of days ago, talking about what's next after Echoes of Wisdom, because we think we have it pretty much figured out that Aonuma himself has already teased us because he did it for Echoes of Wisdom, he did it for Skyward Sword HD, he did it for Majora's Mask 3D, and he did it for the Link's Awakening remake. So it looks like he did it again for what's coming after Echoes of Wisdom. So I encourage you to go check out that video. We'll put a link down in the description. Otherwise, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll catch you in the next video.